hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys what i eat in a day to lose 50 pounds if you guys saw my previous video i share with you guys basically everything that i have done to lose that 50 pounds at the time of that video it was about 48 pounds lost but since then i've lost two more pounds so we are actually at 50 pounds i'm going to show you guys what i eat daily um in order to lose the weight so if you guys want to learn how to do that then just keep on watching so we are actually sitting outside sprouts i'm about to go in and do my grocery shopping basically for the next three or four days i would say i always cook for three days at a time but actually this might be a little bit longer i'm gonna explain more in detail when we actually get to the cooking part of this video because i am going to also cook the food so you guys can see everything that goes into it not just what i'm getting i need to get my reusable bag out the trunk and then we'll be ready to go inside i think that's all yeah let's go inside <laughs> got my bag and I have my list. I know exactly what I'm getting, but this just keeps me, the birds are going to town, but this just keeps me focused on what I need. So this is what I'm gonna get. So I kind of always start in like the fish part. I'm gonna get three pieces of salmon. Hey, um, can I get three of the Blue House salmon portion? I'll either get those two, either be the Atlantic salmon or Fresh Farm. I just look at them, see which one I want. These look smaller, so that's why I'm going for these this time. After I get the salmon, I make my way over to the chicken. I typically only eat salmon and chicken. <laughs> at least right now is what I've been doing heavy. Look and see, do I want hearty wings? Do I want boneless chicken thighs? Or do I want boneless skinless chicken breast tenderloins? It just depends on what I feel for the day. I decided I want the, um, not that one. <laughs> I'm so picky, I swear I'm so picky. But I want the um, boneless skinless chicken breast tenderloins. So those are the two meats that we're working with. Then we shall make our way to vegetables and fruits. When I cook the meat, my side, I like to have a vegetable and I'll just alternate what I want. Green beans, broccoli, cauliflower, a mix. I told you guys that I'm not a big snacker, but <laughs> there are a few things that I actually like. These are the bomb morning rounds, like the blueberry ones, but they have cranberry and orange and apple cinnamon, but I always get these. They have them like in the small versions. I used to play around with those. Now I get the big ones. <laughs> So we got the goods, but the lady behind me, cashier was like, hi, how are you? And the lady said, I'm doing great, amazing, and simply marvelous. <laughs> I wanna be her. But like, why was it your answer? Now about to cook dinner. This is actually gonna be dinner, lunch tomorrow, and lunch the next day. If I'm gonna cook, then I might as well cook for multiple days. So I always start by drizzling some extra virgin olive oil. This right here is Badia Complete Seasoning. So I have the actual container here. Got garlic and onion, salt, spices, herbs. Then I go in with a little pepper. Oh, there's a lot right there. One thing I do want to say about this video is that I cook for, is edibility a word? <laughs> I cook so that it's edible, not so it's cute. So this is not going to be a chef video. Then we do onion powder, which um, Badia Complete Seasoning. I don't necessarily have to add onion and garlic powder too. I just like to. I'm doing lemon pepper today, but as far as getting a different taste to it, I'll either do lemon pepper or the rendezvous seasoning. So if you've ever been to Memphis, then this is a pretty famous barbecue place. Most people from Memphis don't really love rendezvous. I actually more so like the sauce than their like dry rub, but I like to use this for my salmon. Every other time I'll do either the lemon pepper or the rendezvous seasoning i alternate those pretty frequently just a little bit i mean a little bit of salt too much salt can be bad on water retention in your body so less salt so that's all i'm gonna season it with like stooping down to change the angle that's a pochico that's not beer <laughs> i really don't drink this is the air fryer that i use i got it from target it honestly has changed my life this is not sponsored this is the best 
best air fryer I've ever tried. I've tried another air fryer in my parents' house. This one is the Crew X. DD. I don't even know how to pronounce the brand, but I got it on sale one day. The designers of this air fryer, they're black and they're all three from Brooklyn. I think they're all three from Brooklyn. I actually use these um, liners that I got on Amazon. It makes cleaning up the air fryer so much easier. I will link these below. The liner in there, boom, as you can see, it mostly fits. But, you know, oh, I forgot. I like to pet it. I don't know why. I just like the way it looks better when I do it that way. Now, the tricky part is getting these to fit. Okay, washing my hands. So, that's how the salmon looks in there. I don't want it to move too much. But I'm going to set it in here and wait before I turn it on. I want to steam vegetables at the same time that this is cooking. So, they'll be done at the same time. I brought this to a bowl. Um, this is like a steamer pot, whatever it's called. I don't know. My dad gave me this so i add a little bit of olive oil to it i don't really know why i do that i just like to do that <laughs> just a little bit of sea salt pepper as well we are going to pop that on put that in set this to air fry at i'm gonna say 390 10 minutes I have my meat thermometer so i'm gonna check the temperature of the meat of the fish after the 10 minutes I'm gonna actually cook it for another five minutes. I got these Tupperware um, containers with the little peaches on them from Home Goods. I like these temperatures. These are some good temps. All right, we are done. Honestly, I watched me overcook these vegetables. I was like, I think I should probably take it off the eye. And then I started watching tennis. So, and the reason why, just in case you want to know, the reason why I know I overcooked it is because it's too mushy. Like my vegetables a little harder, just because um, the longer you cook, the more nutrients are kind of cooked out of them. So I like them a little hard to keep all the nutrients in, but it's fine. This is dinner, a proper girl dinner. <laughs> Not all these crazy things that's on social media. So tomorrow I'm gonna take you guys through the full day because um, I know I'm just showing you dinner, but I wanted to definitely show you guys this because this is the prep for tomorrow's lunch. I am about to watch tennis, which is what I'm already doing, and eat my dinner. Good morning guys. Today we're actually doing the full what I eat in a day, like me actually eating. <laughs> Been up for a few hours now, working, editing, you know. About to make another cup of coffee and have breakfast. So I'm not really a big breakfast person. Like I like breakfast, love breakfast, but on a daily, I'm not gonna do all that. I am on a roll with editing and I don't really feel like making a whole breakfast thing. And on a daily, I really don't make breakfast. I'm make another cup of coffee this is the coffee that i'm making the green mountain dark magic the only things i've had today are two glasses of water and one cup of coffee and now i'm making another one and i'm going to eat an apple i actually am going to be eating lunch in about an hour or two so you know sticker these are honey crisp apples if you're wondering organic honey crisp apples. I actually didn't even know they were organic until I just read it on the sticker. I didn't know that. Rinse that off. Now we have almost coffee is finishing up. Breakfast of champs and our black coffee and an apple. That'll be it for now. I'll check back in with you guys when it's time for lunch. So it is a couple hours later and I'm about to warm up lunch and actually after I do that I'm probably gonna go ahead and cook dinner. We'll just see but for now I'm about to have lunch. Y'all already saw the prep work for this but still gonna show it to you guys. Because I only want to heat this up once I am gonna chop up this salmon to make sure that it heats up because right now it is super cold and that would make me have to <laughs> reheat it multiple times i'm like literally struggling stop why is this happening 
any hours later i didn't change clothes and everything but i'm about to cook dinner honestly it's very similar to what i did yesterday so i'm gonna just kind of talk you guys through it and show you guys so i'm gonna make some chicken i'm gonna air fry it. i'm gonna season it with badia complete seasoning pepper a little bit of salt onion powder and i barely have garlic powder but i'm gonna do garlic powder as well and then i'm actually going to use the rendezvous seasoning today because i did lemon pepper yesterday for the salmon because i did use the steamer yesterday i am actually going to kind of just saute some broccoli instead so that'll be dinner y'all ain't gonna believe i overcooked the broccoli again <laughs> not as bad but like come on now Taylor. Let's finish cooking um it'll be dinner for tonight and lunch for tomorrow and the next day i actually really want to get this video up for you guys today i am going to eat this for dinner but i'm not going to show me actually eating it i also wanted to say that i've been drinking water throughout the day too so that's really important in the what i eat in a day is my water intake so in my previous video i shared with you guys the app that i use called water llama and that's what i use to i guess calculate the water that i have for the day so that's how i know the 71 percent definitely recommend that you guys drink a lot of water to help with weight loss as well i truly hope this video was helpful for you guys to see what i eat on a regular basis make sure that you subscribe before you leave thumbs up this video and comment below and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys